Check this car out. I mean, as much as this car is urban focused, welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia cars. And the car I have behind me today is Gia Seltos and it's 2023 year model. One thing that I want to point out immediately is definitely this new Gia logo slash emblem that they have implemented starting with all brand new Gia cars. This is one of the easiest way for you to differentiate if this Seltos or any other Gia for that matter is brand new or not. And other than that, exterior wise, there is not much of an upgrade or if not, there is none. However, the design still looks very elegant and up to date because even until today, this is a design that we don't get to see, especially, especially on an entry level SUV slash CUV like that of Kia Seltos. So for your information, where the Seltos sits is somewhere right between Hyundai Tucson and Hyundai Venue, size of the car and also how spacious it is in the inside. And also not to mention about the exterior. And from the front, we can tell that Gia has implemented the tiger face on this Gia Seltos. Originally, it was tiger nose that they have focused on the grill. They were pointing out the tigerness out of that one. However, with the recent Gia brand new cars, they now have implemented the tiger face. And I think it looks the most prominent on this Gia Seltos. This right here is also the DRL that lights up during the daytime, which I'll be showing you right now. And due to the regulation, the headlights or the DRL cannot be connected all throughout. However, when you turn on the headlights in the nighttime, that actually there's a one long horizontal line that connects the entire face of this Kia Seltos. And this is where the DRL sits. But if you go down a lower trim, this is where the projection type headlight bulb sits rather than the turn signal. So where is the headlight for this version right here? It's obviously these right here. And these are the LED headlights and right here comes together with the LED fog lamps. And even with the grill, the design looks somewhat gradual and repetitive. However, they have put in a various shapes and they also wanted to point out that this is also a uh, parametric design, such thing as that we've seen from Hyundai CN7. And this is finished with a nice high gloss finish that contributes to the cleanliness of the grill. And I actually like this high gloss finish over just a regular piece of plastic. Even with all this, Gia Seltos still remains to be one of the most price competitive vehicle out in the market. And that's not only limited to South Korea alone, but globally. And the sales have been proving itself nonetheless. And this is a, such a great car for your first vehicle ever. And uh, that's actually why my friends got, got this car as well. When it comes to Gia Seltos, especially on the exterior wise, sky is pretty much the limit as to you customizing the vehicle. You won't really see any car that's like identical out on the streets just because of the variations and combinations that you can go with for this Kia Seltos. And let me show you up close how they could differ. And it's just looking great. I love it. So come down here and uh, what do you notice right away? I love this wheel cap. They've gone above and beyond, honestly. You see this uh, red accent and finish? I absolutely love it. And they have 235, 45, 18 for the tires. I, I don't want to say too large, but 17s and even 16s would have been great. Honestly, that's my personal taste for, you know, SUVs, cars like this. They could provide better comfortness cushiony you know having smaller wheels that means larger tire that means larger sidewall that means larger room for the tire to absorb all the shocks and impacts but however bigger the wheel it looks cool it looks better that way that's how the market is responding so kia seems to have gone with the market demand and right here is the good one large size piston made out of steel and it provides good enough of brake performance given Seltos and its class. And one thing that I want to point out on the profile, 
right here is this side skirt design rather than just a traditional side skirt look at this they actually have stretched this part out and they go up an angle like so that provides the sportiness out of this um, Kia Seltos as well and not to mention about this cladding right here um, instead of going with the one gentle smooth circular cladding they have that hexagonal cladding right there and then that's also the proof or maybe perhaps the characteristics that of an off-road going vehicle it also aims to be a, a bit of an off-roader type and i'll show you inside but they're not they're not joking about it because Seltos actually does come with different terrain modes i have a jeep right behind me so you can see that very prominently that what this an off-roader should look like so that's the cladding that has the hexagonal cladding right there instead of a gentle circular type and that's what the off-roaders are meant to be that's also seen on Seltos like I have said I actually like this profile a lot the overhang on Seltos both on the rear and on the front is relatively short you know because it's not a large size SUV so they can only go so much with the size of the overhang both back and the front instead in order for them to make the car look more longer sportier they have stretched out this portion of the design also with the headlight and as well as the tail light so it wraps up the design as a whole thing all together both front and back spoiler right here that stretches out from the c-pillar and also i like this a little bit of a design that they have uh, kind of uh, reminds me of the DLO daylight opening that Genesis brands have we've started to see this design I believe uh, with the Kia Sedona adds on to more of a Kia family kind of a design to it and even with the roof rack look at this instead of just dropping it down right here or finishing it up right here they've gone through an extra design they have carved out this portion right here and also the slanted towards the end definitely making it look more sportier i like it and this is what Celtus is about you know paying attention to this little and fine detail that separates and differentiates itself from the competitors this is fake and that's just how it is on these days with the cars so fake muffler exhaust tips instead the exhaust tip is yep right here not dual it's sitting right here but again that is also the design definitely for internal combustion engines we are start, starting to lose this design on evs already and only so long we have seen these on design in real life one more thing with the now that i'm talking about the internal combustion engine this is actually the diffuser probably not all that practical or not all that functional however the design is there and they've gone it with a two-tone finish all around with the silver finish and silver accent and i like that rear reflector as well kind of reminds me of pikachu <laughs> the reverse light is sitting here and it's also connected with that silver portion of the rear connecting both left and right and sums up the design that way just one more thing i i absolutely like the brand new logo that kia came up with this is just beautiful and the third brake light rear wiper so this is a bit controversial especially on the latest evs that hyundai motor group is pumping out because some of them are missing um, they've gone through the aerodynamics and all so there is no need such and such however there are a lot of um consumers or maybe perhaps even the owners that they actually want the rear wiper so i guess we'll see about that personally i don't want a rear wiper because it looks better that way and i don't really keep my car all that dirty to a point where i can't see through the rear view mirror because of the dirty stuff so that, well that's me as for the tires they are the square size same size all around and that pretty much wraps up the exterior i like the design of the Celtos, and honestly as for the design the exterior design not many people are going to hate the design of the Celtos. this is pretty much the combination of all the design that everybody likes 
So the exterior design, it's not too subtle, it's not standing out from the crowd too much. So this is a very, very good city and regular daily driver, I would say. And let's go check out the trunk. The trunk button is right here. It provides good enough of the space inside as we can see. Although this is not a large size SUV, the Gia Seltos actually comes with the reclining seats on the second row seat as well. That's one of the best part, I would say. All right, let's hop in. 2023 Kia Seltos. Well, the car is a fit to my driving position. I'm not really a laid back kind of a type person. I actually have the steering wheel facing inwards towards me and I set my car to more like a track like racing like environment regardless of the cars that I drive. So just so you know, there is a plenty of room inside. So the steering wheel, it's a, just a good typical size and you get a nice good firm grip where you can control the phones and right here the volume and this is designated for the HDA, Highway Driving Assist. I've been using a various models of the HDA versions and I want to say that they are now on point. Starting the car. For the record, this is the 1.6 turbo model gasoline that I am driving today. This is just the good old Hyundai Motor Group infotainment system with 10.25 monitor. And this is one of the best upgrades that you could get, especially on the later versions of the cars, right? Because this is not what you got on the earlier Seltos models. However, starting with the EV6, Kia started to throw on this big size monitor that was carried down to the Sportage and now we are seeing this on Kia Seltos as well. It's a very nice touch. It looks like a matte finish or more like a brushed finish type of a feeling. I can't feel the texture to it. However, they have put in the design so it looks more of a, the brush metal kind of feel. Of course, this is a plastic. However, it's a nice touch. And right here is the uh, air vent, but also finished with an accent of the silver points right here. That's also carried out in the ones in the middle, how, which is wrapped around in this high gloss black finish. This tiny detail actually adds on to more of an interior feel to it because you spend a lot of time driving the car, you know, looking at this interior, touching it. So I actually do like when manufacturers and especially the Kia, they invest in the interior materials. So that high gloss finish is also you know, done with the navigation system, even the knob right here. It doesn't feel that cheap plastic thing that you, we used to have. No, this looks all good. As you can see, it's very, very res responsive as well. Just the typical thing, you know, the default def defrost, the rear, the air vent system. And the good thing is that they actually have this air purification mode. It's actually integrated to the navigation systems up above. And I like when this actually turns on automatically when you go into the tunnel, what I've told you about. There's a lot of stickers on Hyundai cars. When this car is set on the drive mode, just simply twist it around, make the car go into the sport mode, echo and normal, but just push it one more time from the drive, push it, now it turns into traction, and you come over here, you can turn in, turn the car now into, oh, excuse me, you can turn the car now into snow, mud, and sand. This car is also meant to be driven out on the off-road I don't know if you want to take the chance, but it can be driven on the off-road conditions as well. You know, heated seats, ventilated seats. This is uh, keeping the speed steady at the downhill and you can turn on off the parking alarm assist. A must have, especially this time of the season when it's freezing cold out. Kia Seltos actually runs on seven speed dry dct dual clutch transmission and there's a lot of pros and cons and it's a bit quite controversial putting this car on a regular city driver just yet given the nature the transmission being a dual clutch there is a bit of uh, kicks between the shifts especially when the car is set at the low gear with the more power and whatnot however however this will provide the most out of the engine to the transmission and the powertrain and also that's added on to the better mpg this god this seltos has everything you can push the gear selector to the left and then now you're in the manual mode where you can oh 
manually control your levels of transmissions and when you put it on the left it says s1 so i assume that is the sport so you can get sporty with this some um, automatic transmission by shifting the lever to the left and go up and down to control your transmissions this is something that we see on you know sports cars like sporty cars because the passenger needs to hang on to him herself but this is i like seeing this on seltos it's like hey i want to be sporty i want to be a good daily driver so this is a car mix of everything and i guess that's why it's one of the best sellers here in korea other than that it's just a pretty much self-explanatory it's a very very decent great vehicle for the money if there ever is a uh, competitor of uh, this segment and class you know of course when it comes to the cars as i always say we have to factor in the money you know more expensive i mean it better be good but but what you get you get what you pay for that's what i strongly believe in but i think we're getting a little more than what we pay for for Celtos right here so i love this car love the interior and if you actually go up a uh, trim level you can now also customize the interior as well you can go with the, the different lighter color leather steering wheel leather seats and all Celtos is coming out with the great great value of its class I want to put this car on the drive mode and see how it feels like but I've already driven it you know, to be honest so I know how this feels like it's uh, the, the good old seven speed dry transmission and it feels just great and i'll tell you more about it if i ever get a chance uh, on my way back driving this car how it feels like behind the wheel let me know if you want to know more about it so i can actually do a intense review on this 2023 Kia Seltos just one more time because i'm losing the sun already here and it's a little hard to capture a great footage out here today just for today so i think i will wrap up the video for today here but once again, drop in the comment below. If you want to see me test drive this car out on the streets, out on the curvy winding roads, I'll do it. I'll be, I'll be more than happy to do. Drop in the comment below. If you have any questions about the Kia Seltos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you did. And I'll see you in the next video.